Our viewers might remember our next guest. Stefan Josie Davis was an aspiring police officer whose career was nearly derailed after he was arrested and charged with a felony in 2013 for accidentally transporting his legally registered handgun. But after telling his story right here on Fox & Friends, he got a full pardon from New Jersey's governor in 2013. Watch. Waking up, my attorney called me, and um, he told me that we'll be getting a pardon. How do you feel? I feel great. You know, I'm just thankful for all the support that I've been getting from, from you, of course, Fox News. Well, now Stefan Josie Davis' story. You can see him. He's gotten a little bit older. He's come full circle. He's now a deputy for the Calvert County Sheriff's Office in Maryland. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. How are you? How does it feel now to be where you are? It's great. It's a great opportunity. Uh, I'm just thankful that uh, Sheriff Mike Evans in Calvert County, they believed in me, my lieutenant believed in me, and it's just a great opportunity to be able to serve. So let's just um, take one step back and explain to everybody what happened. In 2013, we had briefly summarized, you were an armored car driver. Yes. So you had this gun, it was registered, but you accidentally brought it into New Jersey. Explain. Yes, I had left it in my vehicle one morning when I was supposed to be leaving for work. My little sister came into the garage, and I was just a little distracted by her. I placed it in the vehicle, put her upstairs, and I was heading to work, and I was a little bit late, and I just left and didn't. Put it so where it Chris to be. Christie was governor of New Jersey at the time. He saw this story on yes. Fox and Friends and decided, I want to do something about it. Yes. What did it mean for you when you actually, you know, were pardoned and and, and he realized this was a mistake? It was just a, it was just a, a right that was corrected, and I just felt thankful that he was able to do this for me, and I was able to follow my dream. And it was just a long fight. I lost everything, and I was able to regain everything back and fulfill my dream. So then you go to the police academy in Maryland, where yes. I live. Uh, what was it like going through that and realizing this dream? The academy was, uh, it was tough, but, you know, I learned community policing. They were real big on that, and I was able to get a 3.7 GPA. I was also able to uh, wow. get my degree, and I'm just furthering my degree now for forensic science. So more than likely, I'll be going to University of Maryland. But you're a deputy now yes. at a time when there's a lot of anti-police rhetoric out there. Yes. And it's a, it's a tough time. Yes. Um, how does that feel, and what do you hope to do to sort of bring people together so that there's not so much animosity? I would say just build that rapport with the community. That's what we learned in the academy. You have to build that relationship within the community. You have to gain the trust of, your, of the citizens in your community. So when you have that rapport with your, with your citizens, whatever county you work in, Calvert, where I'm at, mm -hmm. you just have to have that relationship with them and be able to succeed. That's what I feel like. So you need to do. realizing what you had been through, when you graduated from the police academy, you get the call saying, from the sheriff in Calvert yes. County, saying you're going to be a deputy. Take me, take me to that phone call. Take me through what was going on. When through. I came in, I met with him, uh, Sheriff Mike Evans. He really said that uh, he heard a lot of good things about me. My lieutenant buckmaster that was there, he was fighting for me to get in there, and I really appreciate that. My Sergeant Cox, my Sergeant Necker, uh, my field training officers, they're just... Everybody at the department is just great. I came in there. They made me feel welcome, felt at home, and I've been receiving the best training I can receive. What's in your message training. about getting a second chance? Um, it's just, I'm just, I'm just, a, it's just a blessing. I'm just going to use what I've been through and be able to help other people get through the same thing and be able to be a, a positive role model for uh, the community. You are, and yes. we appreciate that very much. And I'll you. be driving the speed limit when oh, I go through course. Calvert County, I promise. Yes, sir. All right, good to see you, sir. Yes, sir.